So this is the plumb bomb holder. It's a nice part. Basically you have a little X and that holds your plumb bob in place and then you can wrap the excess of thread around the edges. Okay. And then once you get it loose, it's gonna give you like, I don't know, maybe 10 feet of thread to hang your plumb bob. So there are these little 3D printed channels, right? This uh, whole thing takes advantage of printing without support and the part is designed to be uh, basically structural, printed flat in this orientation, but your plumb bob slides out, okay? And it is this model right here. This is uh, an eight ounce plumb bob, okay? And one thing to be aware of is when it's printing, right, this was the down orientation. And so you can see there's this texture as gravity sort of takes effect on the part itself. Come on, you can do it. Or maybe you can't. Maybe like that. There you go. So now you can see that there's a little bit of texture on one side and then the final finish face is, is much flatter and you can see the toolpath. But the idea is this part could be printed vertically in orientation without support. You just don't get as much strength for this pinch and because you're gonna be taking a large object and sort of seating it, these wings are gonna to wanna to bend outward, right? And so we wanna give them a little extra strength for sliding in the plumb bob and then wrapping it back in place. But ultimately when you design your part for 3D printability, at least with filament based um, extruders, you're gonna try and have these angles, this hexagon angle is 60 degrees. And so that usually prints without support in all of the orientations that you have.